happy to welcome you back into my studio today for another fun drop-in art session. Again, I would like to thank Perry County Council of the Arts for continuing to sponsor our drop-in art sessions online. Today, we are going to make a folk art painting in the style of African-American folk artist Clementine Hunter. We will have educational links below if you'd like to learn more about folk art and Clementine's style and her work. So feel free to hop down to those links and check her out more. And here are the supplies that you will need to create a folk art painting of your own in Miss Hunter's style. Today's Clementine Hunter inspired folk landscape, you will need a piece of white cardstock, a few brushes, maybe one large and one small, a tray or paper plate for your palette, and several colors of acrylic paint that you would like to work with. So to get started, go ahead and add some paints to your palette. I've already chosen a few here to work with, and we are going to be making a simple landscape. That's the tenement of folk art, is very simple shapes, not a lot of blending of colors, and sort of a flat look to your picture. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your colors. And then we are going to think about a landscape the way that Clementine Hunter would have. She was a self-taught black folk artist from the Cane River region of Louisiana. And she made depictions of her life and the lives of those around her every day um, in her area and her life as a farm laborer before she began painting. So you kind of want to make a nice, gentle sweep of I'm going to do green grass here at the bottom and you may want to do this on top of some newspaper which I sort of forgot but you can do that and I'm going to leave room down here to come in with blue to kind of represent a river coming by but I'm filling up the bottom third of the page with ground and I'm going to leave room to set in my house also. So just go ahead and paint that in. And again, folk art, they wouldn't have used a ton of colors, it would have been pretty flat. So we're gonna just try to achieve that look by not using a ton of colors ourselves. And then to do the river, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a blue, a bright blue. and fill in over here. Maybe my river comes up. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush. Make the house. You again wanna just stay with a simple shape. So just a large square or rectangle. And you can use your own house color for your inspiration or you can use your imagination. So I'm just gonna make a large Rectangle, kind of square shape that represents a house. Clementine Hunter began working as a farm laborer and she began selling her paintings in the 1950s. She began she began selling her paintings when she was in her 50s and at first sold them for very little money and then gradually as they gained in popularity and people began to recognize them as a great representation of labor life and the life of African Americans in the South, they gained in popularity and began selling for thousands of dollars and she has several museum exhibitions. So there is our roof and I just used my paintbrush to make little lines to kind of represent roof tiles or a texture on the roof. It's very simple and then we'll add a door 
in the same way. Just very simple lines. And then you can add in also maybe some windows. Just very simple. Representation of the shapes. Okay. Now we'll move on. And because we're going to do a landscape, you could draw, if you want to, you could put a person in your landscape. Or today, since I'm it's autumn and we're focusing on a fall theme, I'm going to go ahead and just make a tree in the yard. So just making a very basic trunk shape, which would be a long rectangle. Maybe a little flare at the bottom and a little flare at the top. And then I am going to choose some autumnal colors for my leaves. So I'm going to start with some yellow. And just kind of make a very simple ruffled canopy. The beauty of folk art is that it's meant to show and document. And it's an accessible technique for a lot of people because of that, because there's more of a focus on the documenting of life than maybe some other elements that are present in different kinds of art that are more expressive. So this is more of a focus on documenting. And I'm just gonna add, a, I'm just adding these little bits of orange To give it a little bit more texture and then because Clementine worked as a laborer in fields for many years I think I'll add a little cart down here as well maybe a cart that was left out in the field so just again working with basic shapes So just a circle for the wheel. I think I need to make my cart a little bit longer to be in proportion. And there's the cart handle. And then you could add a little bit of color in the sky to finish it off. Clementine Hunter inspired landscape. To learn more about Clementine Hunter and her art, go ahead and visit the educational links below. Thanks for joining me today, friends. Stay creative.